It all started in Hanover, Jamaica, where my great-grandmother and my great-grandfather had 14 kids. And from those 14 kids, they had 12 grandkids. And from those 12 grandkids came 9 great-grands. And me, I was the first of the great-grands, which I was very excited about, to be honest. But then came my little brother my two sisters, Daniel, Dominique, and Dorothy Rose. Now, being Jamaican, um, mostly, mostly the Jamaican beliefs over there are the, and the Rastafari beliefs, believing in Jah. My great-grandmother was a devout Christian, so she believed in Jesus. And growing up, I tried to see what my Rastafarian beliefs were, and I tried to, dig, to dibble in that. And I tried it. I had dreads for a little bit, but it didn't really work out to me for me. I ended up going back to my Christianity beliefs, which is actually working for me now a lot better. But growing up, um, mostly since we were in America now, my great grandmother brought over a lot of the traditions, such as you know the food that was there, such as the akinsa fish and the curry goat and the rice and peas and the and the oxtail and the beef patties and all that other great stuff and that's one thing that we always kept in our family and you know, still do to today but for me I, um, I ended up picking up an American habit which was the skateboarding and um, it's one thing that I love to do still to this day you know it's very it liberates me and makes me feel a lot better and I go out and skate for a little bit I also one of my side another hobby that I do besides skating is uh, play a lot of music I'm a musician I travel to different churches all around. I play bass guitar, piano, or the drum, whichever is required for that day. Another hobby that I love to do is driving. It's one of the best things, I must say. Another hobby that I have is cooking. I love to cook. I mean, some people say I make the best eggs, but that's up to you to decide. <laughs> but growing up, uh, yeah, went through a lot of different transitions growing up. Went through the afro phase, went through the business phase, went through the skinny jeans, cut jeans phase, and all that, you know, encompasses everything to help me find myself through, through it all. Um, I had one friend who I've kept by me, by my side over the, over the past 15 years, and my brother Kevin, through the years. Music has been one of the key cornerstones in my life that has helped me through a lot of things and a lot of problems too as well in my life that I I don't think I could ever live without the ability to play or listen or hear or just music in general. I feel like it's one of the greatest things that God has given me. And I am very grateful for it. I mean I'm grateful for that. I think the postman intercepts everything I try and send to you. Cause he's in fact you waited. And he's the fulcrum between us two And I can't say I blame him Cause I'd cheat a priest just to get to you She works in a dental practice Nine till five How does she manage Considering her nights don't pass out 